to be ignoring you, Yvonne and William. Now, Yvonne, you I tell me. I the same problem we got. Well, I want to hear at it from Yvonne's mouth. Got, you know. Why do you blame William for, for your being overweight? Yeah. I blame him because instead of um, helping me and giving me security about myself, he constantly cuts me down and reminds me of my weight. And it's like he wants to feed that insecurity. And the more he feeds that insecurity, the more I feed my security, which I admit is food. Mm -hmm. I realize that that's my weakness. But he knows that's my weakness. And he never, ever, it ever an misses obsession. a chance to remind me of it in any way. Yeah, but... Yeah, but. And Sherry's me, the same way Sherry says, well, remind me, me that I'm eating too much. Me remind me that I'm eating too much. And she let me says, tell you something. It so attacks your very womanhood, okay? Let me give you for an example. Not too long ago, we were sitting in a restaurant, um, closer than we are now because we were in a booth and had to be. Uh, and my husband was drinking coffee like he always does. And uh, he asked the waitress uh, for some sugar. Well, honey, let me show you what she done. She says, baby, here's all the sugar you need. And done like that. And me sitting that close, okay, I don't blame Oh, let me tell you oh, what darling, you did. did let me tell you, you what you did. Come on. Throw darling, the sugar you could bowl have self-assured me. You could have said, uh, this right here is all the sugar I need. You know, I've been married to this man for 14 years. That's what you should have said. Enjoyed her flirting with him, which he did, I'm sure. So, William, why didn't you stick up for your wife? I'm just a quiet person. Uh, I, just, I grin about everything. Uh, <laughs> that's a cop out, polite, baby. Why are you calling her fat? That's right. William, how does her weight affect you? It affects everything. The way she why? feels. Because you allow it to. No, it's called uh -huh, you. No way. I mean, if you truly love these women, you should accept them. <laughs> For she who they are and for what they look like. Wonder it. why I can't accept it, Ricky. If somebody puts something in your your ear 15 times a day, do you really think that you can accept it? No, because you Nobody feel that's could. what you if are. If I done that to him, Ricky, he couldn't accept it. That's mm -hmm. why I started to say Nobody like, could accept it. I mean, he has he has our nine-year-old son saying stuff to me now, which really, really hurts. And I tell my son, I don't have to put up with it from you. You will respect me. I can't help what your daddy does. Mm -hmm. And I'm constantly defending myself to my child because of it. Yeah. Um, the way I feel is that um, if you married her and you took your vows, I think, you know, you should love her for I've the way the she is. I've heard the vow treatment over and over. The vow says for until, better or, or for, for worse. worse until death do Let you part. Let me ask you a question. If, if you were in a car wreck and you were mutilated, would you want her to walk off and leave you because you weren't? Okay. What, she married? Okay.